something a little bit different this time. Rather than taking a request, I'm doing a character from another person on here. His name is Paris. And really, really nice of him to let me do this. I'm uh, doing a how-to tutorial on his character. His character named Cherry, who's a pinup. He does pinup models and different cartoon animals and really absolutely amazing like I, I love his style here's just one example and this is his deviant art page and here's like the cherry character michael jackson tribute absolutely amazing uh so i'll have his deviant art link and his youtube below and i can't thank you enough if you're watching paris i really appreciate you letting me have the opportunity to draw your character and also so other new viewers can see my channel as well when they search for cherry how to draw cherry so there's just another one and lots and lots really great cartoons really amazing disney style and uh here's another one peter pan so definitely check out his channel and if you're just finding out about mine if you can please subscribe Please uh, give my drawing channel some support too. And once again, thank you so much, Paris. I can't thank you enough. It's an honor to even be doing this because you're, you're amazing. Absolutely amazing. And here's his channel. He's got uh, how to draw a cartoon here. Great tutorials. I love watching these. They're great for female anatomy. Lots of different lessons. How to draw cartoon animals. And just really great digital work. And there's my name. There it is. Right there. I'm on his other cool channel list. So thanks, and I'll get started with this drawing. Thanks, everyone. Hey, everyone. So now I'm going to teach you how to draw a cherry. Uh, like I said before, if you watch the beginning of this, you check out his channel. He basically does the speed sketches of how... He, he starts with the drawing, with the basic shapes. So I'm going to do it a little different, mainly so you can learn an easy way to do it. Because sometimes, you know, it's hard, it's hard for people to do it with shapes. So I'm just going to do it with lines and a few shapes here and there. And so hopefully you'll be able to draw Cherry exactly like he does. And another thing, uh, I'm using a reference photo, so it's going to look just like the original picture. And from time to time, I'll do that depending. So let's get started with this. I'm going to start with side of the face. I'm just using a B pen, so I really like this lead. And so I'm going to keep it simple. This is the side of the face of the cheek. And kind of dip it down. And it just comes up. So keep it very simple, I'm not worried about the eyes. So simple shape right here, side of the cheek, and then for the head, so just follow these lines, then for the head, you have this circle shape, so basically where the, the mass of the head and skull. So now you got this sketch in, and then right here, you can make a little line here, that's where the nose is going to sit on. And like I said, I'm using I'm using the photo as a reference, so it's going to look very, very close. Yet it's going to look a little different, mainly because I'm not copying exactly how it is, but just using it parts. Then neck comes here, the neck comes down, and you have this where the collarbone meets. And we'll sketch the body next. Let's get the face mainly. Now that you got that. Uh, bring a line down right about here and bring it all the way down nice line then it's gonna jut outward like that and come down and notice how it just juts out it's got not really a point but a nice soft line there nice circular and that's gonna come down Kind of like that. And you have a little nostril right here. And notice the nostril is not too pronounced. And another line there. Then where it meets the lips. So now that you got the nose basically in, let's do the eyes. You got one big eye here, which is behind the nose. Then right 
start it right, see where the nose is, a little bit right in this area. You have another eye. You just want to draw that in, just a rough sketch. And like I said, it. Uh, I love his style, I absolutely love it. It's like that Disney style. Really amazing stuff, man. Then a little, that little signature dot of hers goes right under the eye. Right about there. Then for the lips, lips to me I have trouble with, so this is great that I can study and see how he draws it. Just got a little line here. It comes out and then another one. It comes all the way down. And this juts outward. And you can see it comes off the, the plane of the face here. Then you just bring it up. And a little on here and there. You got these really big lips. There I go. And I'm going to move this eye up just a little. Make this eye a little higher. So start about where this eye is, right here, if you have like a horizontal line. So start right about here, and just sketch that. Eyes are big, so make sure it's big, but not too big. But they do take up a majority of the face. And a little mark there. And then for the hair, you can make it kind of come in front and in this one it's curving it's got a little curve this might get curved down then on the back just bring it I'll keep those simple lines. So for the eyes, you have pupil here. I'm going to use a mechanical pencil to finish of these, but the eyebrows are pretty thick, not too thick. You can see here. Then this other eyebrow here. This is a more different drawing than what I'm used to so it's a little challenging to very subtle you know very different that little eyebrow kind of looks like that it's kind of gets skinnier towards this end than this people shape here notice how I'm just roughly sketching everything and it's not gonna look like it's it's not gonna look a hundred percent like his but as long as I get the basic character you know, I like to draw in a kind of a sketchy style. That's something I need. To, I need to work a lot on getting finished quality stuff. Then for the body, I have a line here, and the shoulders just going to come up and curve down. You know, real good anatomy. That's what I love about his videos. Like, definitely, please check him out. Uh, that's what I love because he breaks the way he starts every video is just simple circle shapes. Uh, you know, circle for the upper uh, torso, circle for the pelvis, and it just blows me away how it all comes together. Like, and it's so it'll be really helpful, especially if you want to learn female anatomy better and get a better understand how to draw like that. This is a great way to do it. Just blows me away. So the arm, fairly simple, kind of curves inward here, subtle curve, and then, and then right here for the breast, generally they fall in a line, like if this was a rib cage, imagine there's a line here where the middle is, meets that point, and it would curve on the rib cage, so it would be like, one would sit, it wouldn't go past that line, it would sit right there, and generally there, at the size of the head shape. So on there and then make sure you have more of the back here. Just 
Maybe raise that. And we'll finish up with the mechanical and then on this side this one's going to cut over. See where the arm goes? This arm's going to go behind that. So it just kind of like this. And when I, when I say uh, drawing from reference yet you're not copying I mentioned it briefly in another one of my videos but I didn't go in depth. But you can see it kind of just ends right almost horizontal with that one. Uh, and then the rest of the body here. But what I was saying is, I'll, I'll mention what I was saying real quick here. But basically, uh, I consider two methods when it comes to drawing something looking by eye. You know, say you know you have still life drawings where uh, people look at the fruit or the glasses or a vase, you know, and they're copying it. They're looking at it by eye and they're copying it. There's going back basically the first way you can do it and this is you know how artists train and how artists learn you literally copy every single thing exactly as you see it so you know you are literally like right here I would literally be looking at this line how it interacts with this line where it sits according to that line the curve how the size the proportion so basically I would be very very uh, you know, doing that, I would make sure everything fits perfect, and that's how you get better. That's how you get better. And then the other way I consider when you're looking at something as a reference, I consider you're simply you're doing it your own. Like I kind of went, I made my own kind of face. Basically, I was looking at the character, looking at the way the eyes look, the lips, the nose, and then I'm just roughly, I'm I'm roughly going in and just doing my own thing. I'm using it as a reference to see what the eyes look like and just general little notes that capture the character. And that's kind of what you got to do like, you know, people that do characters, they they do that. They look at the the main features, put it on paper, get they're doing their own style. And I could go more in depth in a video. There's there's another video uh I'll put it is check it out on my likes list, but basically that's kind of real important to understand and grasp. Uh, and it'll help you improve a lot to do both techniques. So real quick, let's finish this up. I really like how fluid it looks. So I'm just taking a mechanical pencil now. And just right here, all these lines, and make it dark. I just, I'm amazed at how good he draws. Like, uh... Just people who can draw from imagination and draw using shapes. It 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 amazes me because that's something I have so much trouble with. Is just drawing, you know, just drawing using shapes and just for imagination. That's something I'm trying harder to improve on. But it's uh, the lips. Make that a little arm a little skinnier. Uh, yeah, it's sad because I'm so busy right now, but, you know, it takes so much time to get good at drawing. That's, that's something, uh, I didn't touch on too much, but when it comes to drawing, I mean, it's like a sport. It's like, if you want to get amazingly good where you feel comfortable, your hands and your brain always connect, you want to practice, you know, at least an hour a day, do several drawings, look at other people who draw and that's that's something I wish I had the dedication more to do uh, because I feel like I could improve so much more if I just spend more time then for right here for the eye notice how small the the pupil here is so you have this little pupil right in here and it's got a reflection then you have another reflection here so it's actually two two ones so you can kind of see that and then the eye real big eyes well, like I was saying, you know, you want to spend time and dedication, and I just, I have so much I need to improve, I need to work on, and I, I just hope, I just hope I'm able to teach you guys enough that you, you learn a basic, you know, I want to teach you guys enough that you learn a basic methods, basic things to improve, yet, you know, I'm nowhere as good as, 
these amazing channels, other ch drawing channels, and con these concept artists that can just sketch and uh, sometimes it gets to me sometimes it, it gets hard because sometimes I can get discouraged where it's like gosh I just wish I could draw better and stuff but at the same time you know like I said before and th this is my advice this is this is what I'm getting into I'm gonna make this final conclusion uh, you gotta remember these guys are professionals a lot of them so please don't get discouraged if if you know what I'm saying like uh, cause it's very easy to get discouraged when you see other channels who draw speed drawing or paint. And these, like I said, these are professionals. That's that's why they are professionals is because they can do that. I mean, uh, so don't get discouraged. That's kind of my tip for the day here. And you can see all I'm doing is this eyebrow just darkening, the hair kind of just this real fluffy hair, and then the arrow up here kind of goes up down curves downward and just follows the mass of the the head so you just want to bring it in now for this side little ridge there I hope that makes sense though about the advice and everything it's so I know it gets to me like it's hard because you feel like you can't draw as good as them and so you kind of get discouraged you know you don't want to draw anymore just keep on drawing for fun keep learning and do the best you can is really the thing and the eyebrows here then for this you've got another little the pupils here there's a highlight in there and then a highlight on the side so make sure you get both highlights you can just see how her eyes look really amazing and real dark pupils so now you can start to see this oh this looks awesome and a chin here I'm really taking my time but notice how the chin kind of curves downward then let's really finish this up the neck the hair is going to come down They make it look sketchy. You want to erase those guidelines in the hair, the ones we did for the head shape. Any other guidelines, just come and erase on the face. Any sketches. Make sure you get that little shape here. And I'm really happy with how many people are checking out, how many new subscribers, and uh, you know I spend more time like always giving out tips and things and advice so then for this hair just keep that line flowing I don't know what is going on with this lead it keeps breaking so just like that another thing I always try to make my videos longer you know this one's pretty long but it's it's to help you guys more because you know, people, a lot of the fans like it because they can follow along. You know, if I was going too fast, it's hard. You have to keep pausing. And so I hope this helps. You got this hair shape. And then last but not least, the the neck that comes up here. The shoulder that just curves like that. Real subtle curves. Another little one here. Make sure you never make lines too thick. I uh, always want to keep them a good size in this shoulder and then for the the design of the blouse thing the shirt kind of just has a v-shape to it it curves and then it curves back up so you have a curve here see that little v-shape and then a curve there then one more here and it'd be awesome uh, when you finish your drawings if you want to share it with me or share it with Paris his name's Paris on the his channel he'd be surprised to see too then just a couple little lines in the shirt here and just on the breast again I just like I said I just love the style because very simple lines you don't have a lot of you know it's got that Disney style it's 
Uh, and it just, uh, it amazes me, like, how complicated it is. You know, it looks so simple on the outside when you uh, look at the Disney style, but then once you actually try to draw it, you're like, my gosh, there's so much you got to know, and it's very complex. That's the basically the finished thing. Just make a line here again. I'm really happy with how it came out. This was fun trying something different. And then a couple of lines. Clean up all the guidelines we made. Uh, the hair. Any other guideline just to erase the shoulder hair. I really hope yours came out good. I'm excited to see how your drawings come out. Email me, thedrawnzone at gmail.com and I'll check out your drawings. Just finishing up here. Make the rest of the arm. Notice how the arms, notice how female arms, very, very subtle curves or cut subtle lines. Look, and that's what amazes me. It's so hard to get good at this. See how this arm, how wide it is there? But notice how it just barely slenders down towards the middle. Then how it just gets wider again and curves in. And, and now I'm not actually looking at a reference for the arm. I just kind of know from more of experience that's how the arms look and things. Uh, I hope this helps everyone. I'm s sorry if it's a very long video. I just really was important that I kind of mention that because last night I went to draw on my tablet again and I had a, uh, such a good time drawing it at the same time I kind of get so discouraged because I just feel like I feel like I'm not where I want to be sometimes I feel like I wish I was drawing a, better in terms of concept wise and from the mind and uh, so so I'm glad I was able to get that out and let all you listen. I appreciate it, guys. I'm trying to get this just right. It's not. It's kind of small, yet not. So that's about good. There we go. Kind of oval shape. I hope that looks good. I don't know what's going on here. Then just shade in the hair and I'll finish shading it up and thanks everyone for watching. Make a couple little lines here. Very light. Thanks again everyone. More videos on the way.